Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Good Friday. It's I, Pastor Sean. It is, as you can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And so, so excited that you are here watching us live. I know, I know some of you will join maybe a little bit later. You'll watch it a little bit later. But uh, um, this is, man, it is Good Friday. It is Good Friday. This is our devotional. Jumped on a little bit late because I was up late uh, getting everything ready for Easter service. Our Easter is going to be amazing. So I hopefully you will join us this Sunday, 1030 a.m. Uh, it is it is going to be an amazing, amazing Sunday service. I uh, really feel like God's got um, the word that is on there. It's just incredible. Um, and so, yeah, uh, it's just going to be awesome. But uh, anyways, so... Uh, but I uh, was up late working on that, getting everything ready, and uh, we just want you to be able to, we want you to come and enjoy. One of the things we want you to do if you're watching this is we want you to upload your family photo. If you have to do it on Saturday, I understand. But we want you to upload your family photo of you getting up and going to church. Give us your best. If you've got a fun hat, ladies, you know, get the big kind of Easter hat going. Uh, I know that's a, kind of a southern thing as well, but, yeah, you know, more than a northern thing. But uh, you ladies, uh, you know, show us your family dress for church, even though you're watching online, right? Because that's where we're at. But anyways, but, uh, but it, is a, it is a good thing. We want you to definitely do that. Um, we want to celebrate. Also, uh, if you've got some peeps, you know, grab some peeps. You know, the marshmallow peeps, right? Uh, we want you to uh, invite your neighbors that way. Um, there's some uh, there's some graphics we're going to put on to the uh, church web, uh, church Facebook page. You can grab those and download those and, and invite your friends. We want people to feel like um, they are a part of what is going on this Saturday. This is a crazy, crucial time in history. In fact, I heard somebody say, it's the first time church will is not going to celebrate Easter. And I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Um, uh, because I think we're still going to celebrate Easter. It's just going to look differently. Uh, but God has given us a wisdom and a strategy in this Easter season um, on how to celebrate um, what what it is that Jesus did on the cross for us. And so, uh, anyway, so I just want you to... You, be, um, be uh, attentive and be purposeful and, uh, and, uh, just, uh, you know, as to what you're doing in this Easter season and what we're doing, because you know what I, I said it once I said it again, Jesus is still alive, right? Jesus is still on his throne. He's not surprised by this. This doesn't worry him. This doesn't scare him. It's just radical. It's good, exciting, it's fun. And so Easter's going to be good this Sunday. But anyways, we're getting on. So today's devotional, right? This is Good Friday. And in preparation for Easter, you know, I've been studying about this and, and looking at the different components that make up the story and, and the part that Jesus played. Um, I, I was, I, you know, I was reading and, and, and reading in John 19. And it said, later knowing that everything had now been finished. This is John 19, verse 28. Later knowing that everything had been finished and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked the sponge, gave it up, uh, put it, put on sponge on a stalk and uh, of a high sop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, "It is finished." With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. I, I, <clears throat> I want I want us to think about this for a moment. Jesus. The Son of God, the one that knew the heart of the Father, knew there on the cross, you know, because the, the crucifixion, if you go and you study the crucifixion, the Roman crucifixion, is a very violent and very painfully struggling thing, right? And so, and so Jesus up there struggling, he knows the moment it comes and he, he understands that everything is finished, and at that point, he looks at the guys, he says, I'm thirsty. And um, there's a, uh, uh, if you study um, the mixture of the of the wine vinegar and all that, that it's it's almost something that helps, you know, it's it's like a pain reliever that then causes, and it's, but he takes it and then he bows his head and he dies. At that very moment, he knows 
I have, I am here. My the 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 purpose part of my purpose has been accomplished. It's time to go to the next thing. The next thing was to go into hell to get back the keys. That's what that's where it was. And he but he knew the earthly thing <clears throat> that he was here to do was done. And so he goes, Lord, it is finished. Uh, one one tra one uh, one scripture says, Abba Abba, Father Father, Lord, it is finished. He cries out, right? And so, so I just want to encourage you today. Uh, this is it's this is a day where you know, <clears throat> up until COVID nineteen was a holiday. It was a commercial holiday, right? You know, we went out, we got kids got out of school, we did things as family, and and in some ways we lost and we forget that this was actually you know this was part of part of the day that Jesus died. Right. This is the day that he actually his his earthly body experienced death. Right. And so um, just as you reflect on today, reflect on reflect on the phrases. It is finished. Reflect on the phrase. It is finished because when Jesus died on the cross, he finished it. He finished it. Everything that you're going on in your life, everything that you've going on in your situation is because of today. Because he finished it. Right? The things that have bogged you down, the circumstances, that stuff that has built against you was finished today. He paid the price. Everything was there. All of it was paid for. It's done. It is finished. It is finished. And so as you're watching this, I know I know some will watch us later as you go. As you go throughout the day, just reflect with me on the phrase, it is finished. And thank the Lord. Thank him. Thank. Spend some time in gratitude and thankfulness today. Thanking him for all that he did, all that he's doing, and all that he's going to do. Because today, it is finished. Right? today the revelation of who Jesus is and what he is and where he's at it is finished he finished it it is a beautiful thing right he finished it so let me pray over you we'll be done for the day and uh, look forward to seeing all of y'all on Easter Sunday at 10 30 a.m. Uh, you can watch us here. You can jump over to Facebook. Uh, I mean, excuse me, this is Facebook. You can jump over to YouTube, but it's going to be really good. So, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I just thank you for every life that is watching, every person who will see this, Father God, every person who will listen. And, Lord, I just declare, Lord, the words that you that you said in John 19 when you said, It is finished. Father, I thank you for that. And right now, in Jesus' name, I just pray a blessing on this Good Friday, Father, that we would stand and have the revelation in our lives that it is finished, that the work of the cross completed it all. We thank you for that. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. So you guys have a good rest of the day. I hope everything goes well, and we will see you all Sunday morning. Adios.